All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yashai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone because that's where I learned the truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yashai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And um, pretty much, I just want to do a quick video, you know, explaining what an antichrist actually is. Because according to Christian philosophy, you know, the five Christian denominations, even in Islam, which Christianity and Islam comes from what? The, the Roman Catholic Church, you know, the doctrine of hell, which hell is not in the Bible. The hell meaning a place where you're going to burn for eternity if you don't go to church and submit your life to Jesus Christ, which that's not the name of the Lord. The true name of the Lord that you Israelites, which the biblical Israelites are the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, our sea line makes up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. These religions, which the word religion, it comes from the Latin word religio, which means to hold back or restrain. That's what a religion does. It holds back and restrains you mentally and keeps you in fear. You know, to separate you from our God, the God of Israel, Yahweh, and the Messiah, Yahweh Shai. Because you have to worship Yahweh Shai if you're going to receive salvation, if you want to receive salvation and do the works. So Christianity, along with the Catholic Church and even Islam, they teach you that, um, you know, there's a hell doctrine and um, it's not biblical. All right. It's not biblical. And they teach you that, um, according to Christianity, that in the end times, there's supposed to be one man that's going to be the Antichrist. It's not biblical, all right? You know, when the scriptures talk about the man of sin that's going to be revealed, you know, that's talking about the Edomites, all right? The, the, the son of perdition, that's talking about the Edomites, which the biblical Edomites is the sea line of the so-called white race, all right? The, the so-called white man. They are the biblical Edomites according to the Bible, the son of perdition, all right, the man of sin. So that's that's what that's talking about. When you're saying Jesus Christ, by the way, instead of you getting upset and you're like, oh, you got horns on, on Jesus, this is an idol. This is not the biblical image. This is not the biblical description according to the Bible. According to the Bible, the Lord will look something more like this. Not saying that this is an actual picture of the Lord, but he will look more like this according to the Bible. What scriptures back that up? The scriptures you see on the screen. Revelation chapter 1, verses 13 through 15, and Daniel chapter 10, verses 5 and 6. All right? It lets you know that the, the, the uh, Messiah is a man of color, Yahweh Shai. He's a man of color. All right? It tells you that his skin tone was what? Brass as if it burnt in the furnace. A furnace is an oven. You put anything inside of an oven, it's literally going to look black. All right? Literally going to look black. It's not even going to be brown. So that's the description, you know, of the Lord when you read those scriptures. That's why John chapter 7, verse 38, what does it say? He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. One of my favorite scriptures. Because if anybody's coming to you with the truth and they proclaiming to be believers in the Bible, once y'all once y'all have that foundation that everything is centered around John 7 and 38, then the truth got to come out. And it got to be according to the scriptures, according to what's written in the Bible, which consists of the Apocrypha, because the Apocrypha is a part of the Old Testament. So if they're not speaking according to scriptures, then they will be considered Antichrist. And that's what this video is going to be about. What exactly is the Antichrist? Is it just going to be one man that's going to rise up in the times that we're in? Because we're living in the end times. You know, the scriptures tell you in the book of Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through 4, that the end times began during the times when Yahweh Shah stepped on the scene in the flesh. All right? During the time of the Roman Empire. But now we're living in the latter days. All right? The end of the end times. Where the Edomites, which is the which is the um, so-called white race, their kingdom and empire is about to be destroyed. And according to Second Ezra six and nine, that's what the end of the world is. The end of the world is talking about the end of Edomite rulership on the planet Earth. And then there's going to be a new age, 
where Jacob is going to rule, which who's the star that came out of Jacob? Yahweh. He's going to come and establish his kingdom on earth. Like how he said in the Lord's Prayer. And he's going to set up the elect of the nation of Israel, right? Beginning with the men, the 12,000 prophets from each of the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, according to Revelation 7, to rule and govern the earth by implementing the law, statutes, and commandments. All right? So this is biblical prophecy, and this is going to happen. So let's see what the hell Wikipedia and Christianity is saying an antichrist is. All right? Let's see. So it says in Christian um, astrology, the antichrist or antichrist is someone recognized as fulfilling the biblical prophecies about one who will oppose Christ and substitute himself in Christ's place before the second coming. All right? Which, look, the so-called white man, he did that during the time of the Renaissance because the word Renaissance, it means the rebirth. All right? Now, according to the Bible, anybody that doesn't believe according to the scriptures is an antichrist. Every single Christian on the planet, on the planet Earth is an antichrist. All right? Anybody that follows or believes in the five Christian denominations, Jehovah Witness or Mormonism, you know, um, anything, Jehovah, you know, Jehovah Witness, Seventh Day Adventists, you know, stuff like that, that involves Christianity and the Roman Catholic Church, you're an antichrist. It doesn't matter if they got a billion followers worldwide. Those billion followers are going to be destroyed. All right. So he did do that during the time of the Renaissance, you know, dealing with the Bourget family, which were Edomites. You know, the so-called white race, they are the biblical Edomites, the descendants of Esau. And this is what they did. They put their images up. Like it tells you in 1 Maccabees chapter 3, verse 48, Job 9 and 24. They put their images up to look like the Messiah, to look like the God of Israel, to look like the angels, to look like the prophets, to look like the Israelites. And the whole world worships them because of that. Because you people think they're the real Jews. They're not. All right? So... This is what they did. They put their image up. Like it tells you in um, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 4. They put their image up to look like the Most High. All right? So they are Antichrist, but it's not just one Antichrist. You know, you had people <coughs> like um, years ago, they were saying that Obama is the Antichrist. You know, every year it's, it's somebody new. Now they're going to say what? Donald Trump is the Antichrist. Come on, man. The Antichrist is anybody that doesn't believe according to the scriptures. So let's, let's, let's get it. First John chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit. You can't believe every spirit. Even a guy that claims he's a Hebrew Israelite, what kind of spirit is he coming in? What does he believe in? What name does he call upon for the God of Israel? What name does he call upon for the Messiah? Does he believe in the Messiah? Does he have the full 100% truth like the apostles of Great Millstone, the Hebrew Israelites teach? Does he believe that the Gentiles that can receive salvation in the New Testament, does he believe that those are Hellenized Israelites? Does he believe America is going to be destroyed according to Bible prophecy? Does he believe that the mark of the beast is the RFID chip implant? Does he believe that the so-called Hispanics and Native American Indians or the lost 10 tribes of Israel, that the conquistadors and, and Cristobal Cologne, known as Christopher Columbus, came and conquered? What kind of spirit is this guy coming in? What is he teaching? Is it according to the Bible? Who is this guy? Is he under the 501c3 charter? You can't believe every spirit. But it says, but try the spirits. Ask questions. Why? You know? There's nothing wrong with asking questions. If you're not sure about something, you should ask a question. You can't just go along to get along because everybody else is following the wave. You can't do that. Because that's what people do with Christianity. You've been brought up to, to be a Christian and to follow all these different philosophies. Why? Well, because your parents do it. You want to make the same mistakes as, as your parents. You want to be cool. I thought it was about just having the truth. Why you want to be cool? When you come across us 
and we prove that Christianity is not according to the Bible, why are you getting mad at us when you can just do the research? So you got to try the spirits. The things that the Pacific person is teaching you, can you search this up and get the same information that they're telling you? You got to try the spirits, whether they be of the most high, because you got a lot of people in the, in the world. You got a lot of people in the world that's claiming to come in the spirit of the God of Israel, to come in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Are they really coming in that spirit? Majority aren't, like these Christian churches. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. There's a lot of false prophets. You got a lot of gods under 51C3 Charter. Me personally, I'm not big enough. I don't give I don't care how long you've been around if you went to one west. I'm not gonna big you up if you teach a false doctrine. Because the Lord, the Lord is gonna destroy you. You're not teaching people what the mark of the beast is. You're saying Cornelius is a Gentile or Cornelius was an Israelite. You're gonna be destroyed. There's a lot of false prophets. One of the major signs of a false prophet is that he's under the 501c3 charter. If a God that's claiming to be a Hebrew Israelite is not using the name Yahweh as the name of the God of Israel and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, if they're not using those names or they don't believe, then they're a false prophet. What are they teaching? <laughs> you, you Israelites, stop following IUIC, ISUPK, GOCC, these people that call themselves Israelites, you know, with a Y instead of the, um, the I. Stop following these people. You need somebody to follow. You need, you need somebody to lead you to the promised land through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua. Follow the apostles of Great Millstone and the, the men under them. All right? That's coming to you in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahshua. Another way how you can try the spirit, you observe things, you analyze it. The disciples was hated. Yahweh Shai was hated, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. So if you got a, a, um, a group of men that's, that's liked, are they really coming in the spirit of the Lord? Nah, great millstone comes in that spirit. All right? Verse 2, hereby know ye the spirit of the Most High. You got you to gotta know the spirit of the Most High. You got to have a, a solid foundation in the truth. Because when it comes time for the Lord to come and test you, for, for the Lord to send Satan to come and tempt and test you, are you going to pass that test? The only way you're going to pass that test is if you got the faith that the God of Israel gave you, according to Ephesians 2 and 8. And if you have a solid foundation, if you're grounded and settled in the truth, if you firmly believe in stiffly in the doctrine, because if you don't, and the Lord come and test you, it's going to be made manifest that you was full of shit all the time. So you got to know the spirit. You got to know the doctrine. You got to have a solid foundation. Because how are you going to try your spirit to see if they come in the spirit of Yahweh Shai when you, you, you don't even come in the spirit of Yahweh Shai? It says, every spirit that confesses that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is come in the flesh is of the Most High. There's no such thing as an immaculate conception. When you read Matthew 22 and 30, the angels don't have sex. All angels don't have sex. They don't have sex. All right? Yahweh Shai comes out of the sea line of David. That's why it gives you the genealogy of Yahweh Shai, Matthew, the first chapter. It tells you that. It tells you in Romans 1 and 3, you know, um, Revelation 22 and 16. It gives you plenty of scriptures that Yahweh Shai comes in the comes out of the sea line of David. He was from the tribe of Judah, according to Hebrews 7 and 14. All right? So it says, And every spirit that confesseth not that Yahweh Shai has come in the flesh is not of the Most High. Exactly. So if you got a, a guy telling you that there's a virgin birth and there is an, an immaculate conception when the Bible is saying otherwise, now you got to question that man. Why are you saying this when the Bible clearly says that Yahweh Shah came in the flesh to die and save his people? Why are you saying this? Why do you firmly believe in something that's contrary to the Bible? What kind of spirit are you coming in? You don't believe. So these Christians in all religion, it don't matter what religion, all religions is false. The Bible don't deal with religion. It condemns religion. 
So anybody that's saying that the that Messiah, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, that he didn't come in the flesh, they not of the most high. They're the spirit of Antichrist. It says, and this is the spirit of Antichrist. There you go. So that's what an Antichrist is. Anybody that doesn't believe according to what the scripture have said is an Antichrist. And there's more than one Antichrist. You have a lot of people that's non-believers. Not every Israelite is going to be a believer. That's why the Lord is dealing with the elect of the nation of Israel. Romans 11 and 7. The election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. The ones that's blinded, they don't want to accept that they're Israelites. And they publicly come on YouTube and on, um, you know, on media. And they denounce their heritage or they, they talk down upon it. They are antichrist. All right. <coughs> It says, whereof ye have heard that it should come. Because we, who we heard it from? We heard it from Yahweh Shai. He warned us about this in Matthew 24th chapter, beginning with his 12 disciples. And the message spread abroad. So now we all know. It says, whereof ye have heard that it should come. And even now already it is in the world. Exactly. It's in the world now. Now we can identify because the Lord, he gave us the warning. You see how important it is? To tell people things, to tell the children of Israel things. You got guys out here that don't want to teach that the mark of the beast is the RFID chip implant, but then they'll use the law in Leviticus, the 19th chapter, to say, oh, well, it's common since you shouldn't take a chip. You know? It's important that you warn our people, or the blood is going to be upon your hands. How the hell is sheep going to know something if you're not giving them the warning? You're supposed to be a shepherd. 2 John 1 and 7, for many deceivers are entering into the world. You got a lot of people that's deceivers. These famous Christian pa uh, pastors that's getting rich off of the people's ignorance. You know, you go on a block, there's two churches on a block. Why? I thought y'all was in the same spirit. I thought y'all both believe in the Bible. Why you got to have two churches for? Teaching a prosperity doctrine. Teaching you to be comfortable in a society that's temporal. That's going to be destroyed by Russia... And, and it's allies, according to Bible prophecy. Why are they not teaching you about prophecy? It says, who confess not that Yahusha Mashiach is come in the flesh? This is a deceiver and an antichrist. What, you people, y'all didn't read this? You have people that tell you, oh, I read the Bible front and back. I read it front and back. I, I read it multiple times. Well, did you miss this or something? Did you miss it? Because obviously, if you would have read this, then you would know that the Lord is not dealing with Christianity. This is common sense. This is how you know if a person is, is, is full of shit or not. They tell you that they read it. Oh, nobody, you can't teach me nothing. You're a, you a young buck. Oh, oh, I live this. You have Christians that say that. Oh, I, oh, I live this. What are you living? Oh, I'm saved already. How are you saved? We're not in the kingdom. And are you an Israelite? A lot of people is deceived. That's my point. First John 2 and 18, it says, Little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard, that Antichrist shall come. And even now are there many Antichrists. There's more than one. That's the point. There's more than one. It's not just one man that's going to rise up literally out of the sea or out of the sky, and then he's going to say, oh, everybody worship me. Nah. Uh, Antichrist simply is just a non-believer, and it could be more than one Antichrist, all right? Whereby we know that it is the last time. Yeah, this is, the, this is it. The Edomites is the last nation to rule before the kingdom of heaven is established. First John 2 and 22, who is a liar? But he that denieth that Yahweh, that, let me read that again. First John 2 and 22, who is a liar? But he that denieth that Yahweh Shai is the Hamashiach, meaning the anointed one. Because you got some of those people too. You got guys that know that they're Israelites. They only want to believe in the God of Israel. They don't want to believe in the Messiah. Well, if it wasn't for the Messiah, you wouldn't even be here right now. You'd be destroyed. We wouldn't even be a nation if it wasn't for um, Yahweh shedding his blood through the spirit and power of the God of Israel sanctioning that. <coughs> Yahweh had power to take down the Roman Empire. One angel could do that. He said, I could have summoned a legion of angels. <laughs> So any Israelite that's denying Yahweh Shai and his miracles, the, the God of Israel not dealing with them, and Yahweh Shai is not dealing with them. Like this, this camp called one body in Yahweh Shai. 
The Lord is not dealing with you, you hypocrites. You was the same people he was cursing out 2,000 plus years ago. How the hell are you going to deny the, the miracles of Yahweh Shai? Come on, man. If it wasn't for Yahweh Shai, you wouldn't even be breathing right now. You'd be up in the heavens. So you have to believe on the Son. So it says he's the Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Because you can't have one without the other. The, the Yahweh Shai said, no man goeth to the Father by, but by through me. Yahweh Shai is the mediator between the God of Israel and the Israelites. The last scripture, Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony. What's the testimony? According to Revelation 19 and 10, the spirit of prophecy, which a lot of these groups and organizations is lacking. Why? Because the Lord is not dealing with them. It says, if they speak not according to this word, right, according to the scriptures, it is because there is no light in them. And who, who's the light? Yahweh so these people, they don't got the light. And that's what will make you an antichrist. All right? So antichrist is simply just a non-believer. It's not one man, you know, that's going to rule over the world with a pitchfork and devil horns. That's that's not what it is. All right? So hopefully this was edifying. And like I said, Christianity is a joke. <laughs>